After months of waiting, Nadim Fauzi Juriyi, a Syrian refugee and father of three, is on his way to a new life in the United States. There's fear and joy at the same time. Fear of the unknown and our new lives, but great joy for our children's lives and future. His family is among a group that includes the 10,000th refugee admitted to the U.S. from Syria in the one-year period that will end October 1st. President Obama had set a goal of admitting 10,000 Syrian refugees by the end of next month. Last year, as Europe saw a massive influx of refugees, the Obama administration faced pressure to bring more Syrians to the U.S. The number was raised from 1,500 a year to at least 10,000 a year. The refugee program has been criticized by Republicans who fear terrorists could come into the country mixed with refugees. But officials say refugees being resettled in the U.S. go through rigorous background checks. Now, I want to be clear, the goal of meet, the meeting the goal of resettling 10,000 Syrian refugees did not come at the cost of our comprehensive and robust security measures. Refugees are the most thoroughly screened category of travelers to the United States. Once in the U.S., life for Syrian refugees can be difficult, but much safer than it is back in Syria. Any mother likes to see their children sleeping safely. It's the same thing for me as a Syrian. And as you like to feed your kids and make sure that you have enough for them, I feel the same way about my kids. The 10,000 Syrian refugees resettled in the United States over the last year, just a small fraction of the nearly 5 million Syrians driven from their home country in the ongoing civil war. Now, a group of 138 humanitarian organizations have sent a letter to President Obama urging the United States to do more to help refugees from Syria and elsewhere around the world. They want the U.S. to double the number of refugees permitted in the United States every year. Jim Spellman, CCTV, Washington.